She's an award-winning cookbook author and Emmy-nominated producer who is ready to once again take us all on a culinary journey across America, exploring diverse communities and how they've shaped what American food is today. Here's a look at Taste the Nation with Padma Lakshmi. Look at that goodness. It's all about texture. Oh my God. Oh. Joining us now is Padma Lakshmi. Good morning and thank you for being with us. Good morning, I'm excited to be with you guys. Well, we're excited to hear all about season two of Taste the Nation. Tell us what we're gonna see this season. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for you guys to see it, especially in Detroit, because we're in Dearborn and we're there for Ramadan. So this is an episode that I've been wanting to do since before we even got the show sold, because I was so curious about this community. And um, I've never really spent any time in Detroit, so I was super excited to be there. Um, I got to do donuts with a lot of beautiful cars. That's something new for me. Um, and I had never been to a mosque and I went to a mosque there in Dearborn. We had a great time. Um, you know, we stayed up all night, of course, but we go to other places like Puerto Rico. We go to Houston with Nigerians. We are in New York. We're also in Daly City for Filipinos. So there's really a lot of communities we cover this season and I'm really excited for everyone to see it. Oh, well, we're so excited to have you here in our own backyard in Dearborn. What was the most surprising thing that you saw in the community? In Dearborn, I, excuse me, in Dearborn, I was just really excited that there were so many different Arab countries that make up that population. I mean, you know, until now, we've pretty much done one country or one community that is from one country in every city in America we've gone to. And this was the first time we were able to meet Iraqi immigrants, um, Lebanese immigrants, uh, Yemeni immigrants. Um, um, I got to have this beautiful uh, drink that I've never had, which is coffee and tea mixed together. Um, I've never drank such a thing. And I was like, that's not going to be good. And it was delicious. It was great. Also, all the pastries I tried, never mind baklava, but like all of the different ones. And I got to go to people's homes and cook with their families. And that's really what I love about the show the most. You know, when you travel by road and you're really spending time, we usually embed, um, I embed myself in a, um, in a community for a week. You really get to know them in a way that you don't as a tourist. And that has been the real privilege and joy of this show. Indeed. Now, we have so many culinary influences and so many cultures represented throughout the entire United States. Now, you're bringing it all together in one space as much as you can in, in per season. Now, how do you hope that the show influences what people think about food in America and how they think about food in America? You know, American food is a constantly ever evolving thing. It's not just one thing. And a lot of things that we think are quote unquote, all American, whatever that means, like American pie, for example, like, excuse me, like apple pie. Um, none of those ingredients that go into an apple pie are actually indigenous to North America. Not the flour, not the butter or lard, not the apples, not the cinnamon, not even the sugar. And yet we think of it as American. But it was, you know, it's based on German desserts that were brought over by German immigrants. Same thing with the hot dog and the hamburger. And so unless you're from a Native American community or an indigenous tribe, you too are either an immigrant or, or the descendant of an immigrant. And I'm just trying to get people to understand that Americans come in many shades and names and, and, and cultures. And that's what makes our country really strong and great. It's how this country was built. It's how it evolved, uh, built, and it's how it was, sorry. It's how this country was built and how it's evolved. And I must say, you know, when I created the show, I didn't create it for people who thought like me. I created it for people who maybe are afraid of immigration and, and are worried that, you know, they're going to take jobs away or that they're going to, you know, drain an economy. And my answer to that is the Cambodian episode in Lowell, Massachusetts. You know, this was a city that was a tawny New England town that 
really fell on some hard times. And the Cam Cambodian refugees came over and they completely revitalized the community. They opened up businesses, they cleaned up the river. It was really polluted. And so that's what I want to see. I hope that the show makes people more curious about their neighbors. Indeed. It's Taste the Nation season two on Hulu starting today. Padma, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate you. Thank you for having me, and I want to thank the people of Dearborn and Detroit for having me, especially.